Could you introduce yourself? Yes, my name is John Sheldon. Um, I was in the Royal Fusiliers. Do you want to know this or not? From 1955 to 1957 as a national serviceman. Um, I joined... Well, let me give you a bit of a history, all right? As you know, that um, after the war, the Second World War, um, they, the government introduced national service conscription. And originally it was for 18 months, and I think in about the early 50s it extended to two years. So that meant that every boy at the age of 18 had to be interviewed, medically examined, and then had to do the two years national service. Um, I was at school up in Derby, and I went for a medical in Derby, in Derby and with a friend of mine who was at school with me, we both decided that we would like to join the Buffs, the East Kent Regiment, because we both lived in Kent. And we did join the bus. We were called up. I was called up on the 6th of October 1954 and went to Canterbury to do my basic training. There, after a few weeks, a couple of weeks I think it was, we were then selected to see if we were potential officers. And I was chosen to go into this squad and there was a separate squad down at Canterbury for potential officers, national service officers, um, which was came from all the home counties regiments. That was the Royal Fusiliers, the East Sus uh, the Sussex, the East Surreys, the Queens, the Royal West Kents, etc. All those regiments. So I did my basic training there and then I had to go to an examination called WASBY, War Office Selection Board, which was down at a place called Barton Stacey in Hampshire. And there you were put through a fairly rigorous test for about three days um, to see if you they thought you were capable of doing the training. Anyway, I passed that and had to wait quite a few weeks um, at the depot in Canterbury before going up to a place called Eaton Hall, which was near Chester. It was, used to be owned, well, it still is owned by the Duke of Westminster, but had ta been taken over by the government. And this was a school basically for National Service Infantry Officers. Um, and I think there were Ordnance Corps and one or two others there, but no artillery or cavalry or those, or basically infantry. And it was a 16-week course, and it was very tough. Um, we were run by guards, sergeant majors, who bullied us and shouted at us, um, but it was pretty vigorous. I don't think that I've ever been as fit as when I left that place. Um, we had 16 weeks of vigorous training of all how to be officers, and we had to be fit as well. And they gave us all the basic, the, the trainings that we had to do, signalling and tactics, field craft, weapon training, everything. Uh, towards the end of it, we then selected to which regiments we wanted to go. My company commander at Eaton Hall was a very nice gentleman called Philip Seawright, who was a major in the Royal Fusiliers. And he said to me, would you like to join we have some spaces in the Royal Fusiliers, and as I lived down in Orpington, um, I thought that would be quite a good idea. 
and I joined the Fusiliers. I was commissioned into them and joined them here in, I think it was about August 1955. It came to the Tower of London, very raw, having got my uniform we had to get our uniform, we were given an allowance for that and we had to have our uniform made and everything like that and I came here for about a week and you, this was a very strange place I thought anyway, <clears throat> it was rather good in one respect because I had a girlfriend who lived in London and she says, where are you staying? I said, the Tower of London. This was terribly impressive, you see. They, they all like that. Anyway, so I came here. And you learn about the regiment and everything like that. Then I was sent down to Dover, where the 1st Battalion, the Royal Fusiliers, was stationed. And I joined there as a, a platoon commander, I think in D Company. And there was a Canadian... Um, company commander called Major Dick Moglove um, who was commonly known as the Sheriff um, anyway I was there for with the 1st Battalion for the rest of my time